Hello my loves, how's everyone doing? I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. If you're watching this on the Sunday, this is being uploaded. Hope you've had a lovely weekend. Hope you're not too hungover. <laughs> I'm looking out onto my little bit I have down here and someone's been down here which sends shivers down my spine quite honestly because something has moved that can't move in the wind it's way too heavy that needs to be picked up and moved it's been picked up and moved which means someone has been there for what reason I don't know. Probably to burgle me. Let's be real. Anyway, today is a Tuesday and I am actually getting ready to go off and meet Yaz and Lewis for some brunch in Central. I made this plan. Well, mm. <laughs> I texted to say, do you want to meet for lunch? That's a big thing for me. I get really nervous making plans because it could be like my best friend, even a family member. I get really nervous that people don't actually want to see me and they're just seeing me because like they feel like they need to. I know I'm not the only person who feels like this, but they both said yes because they do want to see me. <laughs> what is going on? I say I made plans. I don't have the balls to like pick a place to go. So I just messaged in the chat. Like I can't handle the heat of the actual booking. And no one's responded back. So I'm gonna chase them up on that. But I need to get dressed. I'm also up with some time to spare. Well, I say I'm up with some time to spare. I slept for 13 hours last night. I must have needed it. I think I did need it. I want and need a lot of time with my friends right now. So I'm being proactive in doing so. I also want and need to look nice. So what am I gonna wear today? Hmm, I kind of want to wear the same top that I always wear because it's so comfy. My little boy top from Mango, but oh my gosh. I feel like I already can never wear this again because I've worn it so much. There's also some stuff on it. Oh no, that's not good. This needs to go back in the wash. A Laneige lip balm was in one of my pockets of like a pair of jeans or something and I put it in the dryer. And now I've got all this stuff you probably can't see, but like there, I've got all these clothes with little splats of lip balm on them. I could do this leopard top with this gray, oh, or I could do, hmm, oh, I can't decide. I'm not gonna do the leopard top because I feel a little bit pale and it's a bit strappy. Instead, I'm gonna do this new off the shoulder top. I'm gonna wear a bra with it though because you can definitely see my nipples, it's quite sheer. A side note as well, um, these bras from ASOS, I think they're literally just basic ASOS. This is really similar to a Victoria's Secret one I've got and like how soft it is. It's just a really good, comfortable, wired bra and not expensive as well. As I said, it's similar to this Victoria's Secret one that I have, but that Victoria's Secret one is way too big for me now. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. And then with these jeans, do I have the belt in these? No, these jeans were rocking my world. Oh, do I want to do it with the dark denim jeans? No, we'll do light denim to break it up a little bit. My carpet is so dirty as well. I know it needs a hoover. This carpet, oh, I thought that was coming from my drawer, but it's coming from the builders that side. This carpet, oh, there's just no hope for it. I think because my bathroom is there, so I always walk from my bathroom into here after I've had a shower or something. And obviously, because I got wet feet, like any little bits of dust or anything gets stuck in this carpet. Or hair, like I blow dry my hair in here. It's just a lot. Anyway, I'm gonna wear this red felt with it, which I love. I got this from Urban. And this is such like a vintage cop out. Like this is something you look for on vintage, but you find it on urban. Do you know what I mean? And then I can wear my red. Oh, <gasps> guys, I brought down this package because I wanted to show it to you. I got these shoes on vintage for no, like I think five pounds, five or seven pounds. I've got so many shoes from vintage recently. These are Karen Millen shoes. Oh, I kind of want to wear these today now. And I would. They're all wrapped and everything as well. Look at these. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They're like hair. So obviously not real hair, but with the buckle and everything, I just thought they were fantastic. This is not an ad. I wish it was vintage. Actually, I've worked with vintage once before. Please work with me again. I'm obsessed with you. Vintage is just 
that girl it really is and the algorithm is so good as well everything is so cheap on there and i feel like you get into a flow like the more you buy the more you kind of know what's going to be good you know what i mean sellers are always really helpful and selling on vintage as well i mean i sell all my stuff on vintage these days it's just such a great easy experience so shoes or oh, i'm gonna have to find an occasion to wear those two this week right i'm gonna get changed I feel like it's gonna look the same as every, every other outfit I wear. I've gone for something so boring, but it's cute and it's not autumnal and it's functional. And I probably will wear it with my big brown leather jacket. I would kind of like this with the trench though, maybe as well. I've got the red loafers, which I need to break these in a little bit more. They are rubbing around my heel, but I'm gonna go on a dog walk before I head out for lunch. I don't think we're supposed to go for lunch till about two and it's five minutes to 12 right now. Oh, putting these loafers like over the top of blisters that they caused yesterday. As much as I know I moan and I go on about my hair and like having no hair extensions in. The feeling of brushing it every morning, washing it, running my fingers through it. I literally can't stop. It feels amazing. And I think it looks in pretty good condition if I do say so myself. I'm also noticing so much hair regrowth from the root. Like I've got all these little baby hairs sprouting out of my root. And I do think I have to put it down to this UK hair serum. See if I can show you like, can you see? Even smaller ones, like really, really tiny ones, like them coming out of my root. I really think it's this. Because when I had hair extensions, I wasn't really using this to be honest. So it's the only new thing in my routine. I like use good shampoos and conditioners. I'm alternating at the moment between this red can one, it's called Extreme Length. Hopefully it will give me that. I also love this range. This is an amazing hair gloss. I feel like everyone's obsessed with hair glossing on TikTok at the moment. It's the L'Oreal Absolute Repair Molecular. There's a hair on it. Of course there's a hair on it. Like what? surface is safe from my hairs in this bathroom i swear they are everywhere like they're even just <laughs> floating in the toilet bowl this is called the professional rinse off serum but it kind of works like a hair gloss i love the shampoo conditioner everything from this range as well i also love the fenty hair so amazing but because like all of these products are quite hydrating products and i don't have dry hair naturally i've got quite like oily hair naturally oh no i've left this undone i love the way hair i'll use this every other wash so i'll use the really hydrating products one wash and then i'll use like way hair stuff as you can see i love this stuff i bought this in selfridges like i want to say a year and a half ago actually i've got the fine hair one and then also the detox so anyway, that's this toilet just randomly like we itself i've also got the detox one but i left that at my parents house and i'm sure my mom has already got through it but the little hairs I'm seriously crediting it to this. I just kind of like drop the drops a bit willy nilly into my hair and then I massage them about. I am sure I've spoken about this in another vlog, but you do it on dry hair as well. You do it every single day and you do it on dry hair. So it's great because it literally just dries like water. It's honestly as though you've just put your hands under the tap and like you're putting it through your hair. It doesn't leave any sort of residue. I think the scalp stimulation of rubbing it in as well, like has to be a factor to how it helps your hair. Fragrance of the day if you watch my last video it's still hitting so good zara's water lily tea dress and if you didn't watch last week's vlog go watch her this is from a collection with zara that was like helped curated by joe malone and it's Oh my gosh, this fragrance is everything. I need to buy 100 bottles of this because I want this to be my signature scent. And I have a lot of nice perfumes. Not to toot my own trumpet, but toot too. I'm lucky enough to be sent a lot of really nice ones. This, over all of them, I'm having an absolute man. I've left the house, right? So I've taken Ida on a walk. I've left the house with like semi-wet nails. Painted them this burgundy colour. My jeans are too loose. I need to adjust my belt. It must really look like I'm just like talking to my shoes in this tube station. Oh, better. These shoes. Man, these fucking shoes. They are eating my feet up. Like, I just know that my socks are going to be so bloody when I take them off. I wore them on my dog walk. And like, by the end of the walk, I was like, oh. and I just 
stupidly sipped them back on when I came back out. I mean, it's one way to break your shoes in, isn't it? In central London. It feels so sophisticated with this nail colour. I love the baby blue though. If you guys have seen, I've been wearing baby blue nails in loads of vlogs and I kind of wanted to make it like my thing. Baby blue nails. This looks so good. We're at NAC. Lewis got chicken aubergine. I had that aubergine. My sister, it's really good. So good. Yeah, got the vodka pasta. Good egg. Mm. So good. I got the avocado toast, the fried egg, and burrata. Back from lunch. Sorry, I really didn't film anything. If you watch the end of my last video, I sort of said like, I'm just going through a bit of a funny, anxious time at the moment. And today's one of those days, unfortunately. Well, the clip I filmed, you see, I filmed these videos like back to back. So I literally filmed that outro like yesterday. So obviously not a lot has changed. It's not like a week has gone by. And at the moment, to be honest, I'm just on a low, but that's okay. Gotta have the lows to appreciate the highs. I stopped into M&S on my way back. I went to the Bond Street Station one. Lunch was so great, so delicious and just really what I needed, like just some giggly silly girl time. I got some tomatoes. This also means you got some cooking content coming your way. I got two packs of these. m and just does the best fruit. It's always so yummy. I got two packs of berries. I love having these for a snack. I'm talking of snacks. These are my favorite snacks ever. The little pack things they do get three for eight pounds. I got tomato mozzarella pastries and two packs of the courgette and halloumi triangles because they're my favorite. And then I also got myself some yum yums. My nanny used to love yum yums. And anytime I have them, it just reminds me of going over to her house when I was little. She'd always have some in the cupboard. Her and my dad loved yum yums. Oh, you know I've got one of these um, little drinks they got from the Asian supermarket as well. This is the lychee one. I tried the strawberry one in my last video. Oh, so yummy. I also need some of your guys' help. I'm hosting Christmas here at mine in London this year. We have never ever spent Christmas out of our family home. So it's the first time we're ever doing Christmas in London and I'm so excited. I think I'm a little bit nervous, but we're not having Christmas dinner here. We're gonna be going out for Christmas dinner and my mom and dad really wanted to go to the Ned, I think. <laughs> They see me at the Neds all the time and they're like, oh my God, well, used to be in the Neds all the time. I'm grown up and responsible now. We wanna go out for Christmas lunch. Where is good? What is good? Are there any pubs? Like, if you go out for Christmas lunch and you live in London, please help us out, us being me and my family. Also, buckle in because there may be a return of a couple of parents rate my outfits videos but shh, you didn't hear that from me i didn't just go into mns as well i actually stopped into boots and super drag i got a pencil sharpener for my lip liners because i have so many blunt lip liners and terrified of giving myself a splinter with one did you guys see the tiktok about the girl who got a splinter from her lip liner and ended up in A&E because it got like infected because it was so blunt. Oh, terrifying. I also got three more lip liners. I've seen loads of girls talk about this one. This is the brownie pie lip liner. These are all from Rimmel by the, by the way, sorry. I also got one in the shade Tiramisu and the 90s nude. Shall I swatch them for you? Okay, this one is 90s nude. Sorry, I know it's so far away. Let me know. <laughs> For you somewhere better. It's difficult because this is wide angle. Okay, so that one's 90s nude. It's kind of like a purpley shade. This... Oh, uh, uh, no! Uh, this one's been fucking swatched. That is so annoying. Right, this one is tiramisu. I can disinfect that and resharpen it. And then this one is brownie pie, which is a really dark brown. But I feel like they look fun. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I never know with lip liners. I'm so fussy with them. I feel like a lot of you guys will know that my favorite liner is Charlotte Tilbury Hot Gossip. It's just the perfect shade for me. It really is like a proper cheat lip liner and it really blurs the lip line. Like they're so kind of, they're kind of thick, the Charlotte Tilbury ones. So you really can give yourself a whole new lip shape. But as I said, I've seen good things about these. So I'm excited to try them out. Maybe I'll do my makeup like fun tomorrow. Do something different. Try 
out some new stuff. I really want to do the Victoria's Secret Angel makeup, especially as I think Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is coming back. I then also got the L'Oreal Infallible 3 Second Setting Mist. I just see so many amazing things about this. I wanted to pick this up along with the Elf Halo Glow Beauty Wand. This is a contour and I've also just seen amazing things about this and I actually really enjoy using my Refi Cream Contour. I've usually always been like a... a, a <laughs> always been a powder bronzer kind of girl but i'm getting into my creams it's 7 p.m some time has passed i've literally been butched out on my sofa reading my book i made this pesto yesterday you guys might have seen like the recent vlogs been making my own pesto she thick this one is a pistachio pesto so i substituted the pine nuts with pistachio if anything i'm eating takes me longer or say that like, i need to boil something i've got nothing to do with my hands so i have to have a snack whilst i'm making it so today we're having these these things these are like what's it the little they're like knickknacks so delicious the flaming hot ones and sensations crisps the best look at that green and sexy this is ultimate winter comfort food mm, i had it last night as well with like a big old burrata plopped on the middle oh no i missed a couple still got more left this is like the pesto that just keeps on giving a little bit of extra parmesan a lot of extra parmesan mm -mm -mm. Good morning, girls. I want to film a couple of reels today, maybe. I really want to do like a Victoria's Secret inspired makeup look. But my skin isn't, isn't the best. But hey, Victoria's Secrets can have acne too, right? I also so desperately need my jaw Botox topping up. Well, not even topping up. Like I need it back in my face. It's the day we dread to see coming. I'm gonna wax my eyebrows. Why is this one so red already? You'd think I'd already put a wax job on that. I love eyebrow wax day. Although I will say, I feel like I should start waxing my entire face. <laughs> it's part of me that thinks I should just put an entire sheet wax strip there and rip it off. What do I wanna do? I need to like figure out the direction that I want to go with them today. Honestly, week to week it changes. That looks a little bit skinny. Oh my God, should I just do it? I'll have to do it now, stick it on. Oh, that really wasn't that bad. Actually, it was kind of perfect. Also, does anyone find when you wax your eyebrows, none of my makeup will stick to the bit that I've waxed? It's so strange. Like, even no matter how much foundation I put on there, like, it just won't stick to it. I guess it must wax, like, a really fine layer of skin off as well probably like dead skin so maybe that's why but i always have like strips on top of my eyebrows i have no makeup on if you guys have followed me for a long time in fact if you're watching this part of the vlog still comment down below when you started watching my videos because i love those kind of comments like i genuinely love them you guys give me nostalgia like you remind me of times that i completely forgot about a big one is moldy makeup palette if you know, you know. Another one is a lot of you guys always comment like, oh, I met you at this Rex Orange County concert. I think it was the one in Birmingham. <laughs> I think it was the Birmingham one. Another one, obviously my parents, like videos of my parents, which as I said, keep your eyes peeled. They may be coming back. I'm sure in the future I'll have comments. I remember when you waxed your eyebrows so thin. <laughs> Oh, the Malibu days when I used to like jump and get ready with me, never drinking Malibu in my bedroom. Do you know a sad story about that? Half the time I wasn't actually drinking the Malibu um, because I wasn't actually going out. <laughs> Oh, just filmed this makeup. I wanted to do like the Victoria's Secret makeup seeing as it's back. I should watch it today. It's so cold. I've just turned the heating on. If you can hear that noise, it's the boiler firing up. Love that noise. Like it's a really cozy noise. But yeah, I filmed that for my Instagram. I'm literally obsessed with this makeup. I kind of want to make it my everyday makeup. I hardly put anything in my brows. I hardly have any brows. I love it. <laughs> I feel really silly as well because I'm walking around in like Victoria's Secret lingerie. And a silky dressing gown around my house. I mean, people say, wear nice underwear for yourself. 
I am more of a wear a dressing gown <laughs> for yourself kind of girl. Before I do anything, I want to get Ida on a walk because it's actually really nice and sunny. It feels like a crisp autumn day. I need to eat. I'm like getting shaky. My routine isn't the best. I've been waking up kind of late and it just throws my whole day off. When I wake up late and I look down at my phone and I see like 10 a.m., it literally puts me in such a bad mood for the day. It's like this big kind of hump that I can't shake. Well, I can shake it. It just takes me a while. Do I have, I think I want just avocado on toast or I could do like a tuna baguette. Or do I want avocado? No, I want avocado on toast. I can do like a tuna baguette for dinner. I was going to film like a little cooking Sorry, is it flickering again? It's so annoying, these lights. I can't really work out how to get this to stop flickering. It just doesn't really want to. Sorry about that. I wanted to film like a kind of cooking-y reel in my kitchen, but it takes like three times as long to make whatever you're making when you're doing that. So I'll save that one for tomorrow. But it does mean that you guys get the recipe today. Today, we're gonna be making the sexiest avocado on toast you have ever had. I've only got my ginormous saucepan clean and i really want boiled eggs so that one is gonna have to do right for the avocado mix i take half of an avocado oh i hope this is right it feels a little bit no that feels hard all right let's see if there's another one that's more right oh you're kidding they're both so hard preferably pick up an avocado that isn't like a rock oh no <sighs> oh, guys this is actually rock solid i don't know what to do i actually don't think I can, <laughs> I can do this. Maybe we'll be saving the avocado toast for tomorrow's recipe. What else have I got? Oh, all this not last, I've got salmon. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make the best salmon on toast ever. I'm gonna chop up some flat leaf parsley, move that to the side of the board. Then I'm gonna cut up some cucumber. This is Ida's favorite bit because she always gets the end of the cucumber. Beanie boo. Girl. Slice up the cucumber. I like to try and get it as thin as I can. Water's boiling now. Time to put our eggs in. Buy for browns. The best, okay? And you might be thinking, why should I care about what eggs I buy? I used to think that too until I started getting these. These taste different, okay? They're just different. Two eggs in there. Can't really do anything else until they're boiled now. Sit and wait. I'm gonna pop these avocados into a Tupperware and leave them on the side. Just because I have already cut through one of them, I don't really want it to go brown and nasty. Then if I put it in the Tupperware, are they going to ripen? <laughs> I don't know. I'm back. The eggs are done. The toast is out. I'm watching Uma and Will do a bake-off. <laughs> First step, cream cheese always. Cream cheese over butter just on everything. Aside from eggs on toast, if you're having eggs on, eggs on toast, butter over cream cheese. Now I'm gonna put my salmon on. I usually do about half the pack of salmon. I didn't put the cucumbers on. It's supposed to go cream cheese, cucumbers, and then salmon, but just ignore it. It's not gonna look as pretty. Load those cucumbers on. Now I'm gonna cut the eggs in half and pop those on top. Sprinkle on the flat leaf parsley. She's looking good. And then today I'm going crazy, so I'm gonna crumble a little bit of feta over the top as well. Whenever I eat feta in a restaurant, it freaks me out because I know that they've had to do this and smush it up in their fingers to get it crumbled. And I don't like that. I don't like the thought of someone's fingers in my feta. A little bit of ducker. And then... I was gonna put the pepper on first, but tell me why that feels wrong, like saying pepper and salt, salt and pepper. I've literally got the tiniest amount of chili flakes left. I'm gonna try and get some on there. I feel like half my vlogs. <laughs> it's better with me sat here eating. But honestly, that's a accurate representation of most of my days. This looks so good. For me, an ultimate form of like easy and instant rewarding self-care is cooking myself something really yummy, like something I'm craving. Mm. Mmm, so good. Anytime I slack on my cooking and I'm not like taking the time for myself and like with myself, I feel a massive impact, like not just on the way my body feels, but like my mind and everything. Sorry to go all wishy-washy on you, but when you're watching this, it will be a Sunday. Set some time aside, maybe go to a Tesco's or wherever. If you have one nearby, think about what you're really craving, like could be anything. Find a good recipe, make your own one up and enjoy cooking it as well. Like whether it's listening to music, watching a Bake Off Love Island video, it's so rewarding. 
Mm -mm -mm. And in the turn of events, I've got real clothes on because I'm going outside. Guys, I've put on the shoes that I showed you. Right, look at this. They look so good. I had to take the insoles out of my trainers and put them in because they were a little bit too big. So we'll see how that goes because it's feeling quite uncomfortable and I am planning on getting the tube. Every time I get on the tube as well in my heels, they get stuck in the escalators like they get trapped. Honestly, a health hazard. If you see a news article about a YouTuber being munched up by an escalator, do you know what? I don't even want to put that out. Touch wood, that never happens. But if you do, You'll know it was me. Josh FaceTime me because his sister is in London and obviously Josh is Welsh, so his sister lives in Wales. Sorry, I feel like it's an invasion of privacy, this. Josh's family are Welsh, so his sister is loving going around all the TikTok spots in London. And he asked me to come along and I thought, you know what, why not? Got to put on some of my special Zara perfume, of course, because I need everyone I meet, especially for the first time, to walk away saying, oh my God, she smells amazing. And this is gonna do exactly that. Well, I better smell after using half the bottle. For anyone wondering as well, this top, it's supposed to be worn off the shoulder, but it kind of keeps falling off. I was not obsessed with the way the bra straps look when it's off the shoulder. This is from Urban Outfitters. That was from Urban Outfitters. Jeans and knee high. I think they're really cool. And the shoes, as I said before, they're from Vintage. I kind of want to put like a necklace on as well. What do we think? Like this one? Or is it just too much? Fuck it, let's put it on, have a little bit of fun. That's cute, no? I think that's Josh texting me now. Harrods. See you at Harrods. I feel like I'm gonna get told off for filming in here. It just gives me that kind of energy. I'm with Josh and his sister. And we're in the Harrods food hall. I've actually never been to the Harrods food hall before. I think maybe when I was really little. To be honest, I never come in to Harrods. It's like a maze. There's no windows. Like it feels like there's no way out. They've got these rotisserie boxes. Obviously I don't eat meat, so this is not a bit of me. These rotisserie boxes that are a bit of Josh and his sister. So it's 12 pounds for a box and you get like all these meats, mac and cheeses, roast potatoes, looks so good. This is a bit of me. Yeah look there are all these scotch eggs, all these salads, they look so delicious. I'm really annoyed at myself now that I ate before coming out. Oh they've sealed that eh? Do you want to read the box? Truffle mac and cheese. Oh, it smells really nice. Is it still hot? It is actually, yeah. This was 14 quid. I don't think that's that bad. I was saying that's like the it's price of a baguette, a yeah. cookie and a like, coffee I wouldn't, maybe. Obviously I wouldn't buy this yeah. every day, but should we try the, try the pasta with me? Josh said I could try some of the truffle mac and cheese with him. Sorry, if there's one thing I feel is. like we're good at knowing it's whether it's a good mac, mac and, cheese. and cheese. I can't see too much sauce on it, no, but... No, same. <gasps> Fuck. Oh. oh my God, oh God. <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> so, okay, ready? So cold. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is actually good. It's damn it? good. That's good. It's mm. damn good. How the fuck have I found myself in Arsenal? Uh, what time is it? 7. 7 p.m. on a Wednesday. A tube station I was trying to get to was closed and then the next one was closed. So now I'm in Arsenal, <laughs> obviously. Not by choice. I'm scared. I think there's a football match going on. Also holding on to this camera for dead life because there's just so many drunk men walking around. I'm gonna Uber home from here. Oh my gosh, you guys. My feet are not okay. These shoes have literally eaten up every single little last bit of skin on them. Looking forward to getting in though. Having a cozy evening, putting some socks on. Wait, where is this driver trying to meet me? I might even put the heating on. Actually, I don't even need the heating on. It was like 23 degrees today. Oh, there's my bolt.
morning. I've made myself an even bigger forehead. <laughs> I made myself this free soul coffee. It's like coffee that isn't actually coffee. You see, <laughs> you see my legs. I've never tried it before. It's like ashwagandha. I think it's like mushroomy. I don't know. I really don't double into that stuff. Mmm. That's really nice. It tastes like a chai latte. Let's see how I feel after that. I am. Um... Hi. Oh, thank you. Okay, can I come over in a sec? Can I come over one second? <laughs> My neighbor just walked past and saw me sat like this. There's lows and then there's lows, hey? Ida was going crazy because I think there's people coming in for upstairs. It's a lot going on this morning. I'm getting ready because I want to film some things today. I also just want to look nice. And I think I've got a day to myself today, which I feel like I've been so social in my vlogs recently. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, what the hell, you literally see someone for lunch. That's not being social. But if you've watched old vlogs of mine, like I could go weeks at a time without seeing anyone. I don't know if that was the best thing for me, but I was kind of okay with it. I don't know, I don't really remember. Obviously I've lived alone for three years yeah three nearly four years now and something I always get questions on is like how to be okay on your own how to enjoy your own company and the first things first I just want to say like everybody is so different some people love being on their own some people hate it I've got friends who when their flatmates are out like they feel really horrible or they get really sad they don't even like having like a single night alone I can't imagine that i love my time alone i do feel like it's something that's instilled in and you need to be on your own you need to like being on your own you don't have to love being on your own yeah you have to be able to tolerate it but if you were the type of person who thrives around people and you're happy around people like it's not a bad thing for me a huge thing is being alone and feeling lonely and i think they actually come from two very different circumstances in my opinion being alone is when you are choosing to be alone and it's like a conscious effort and also a conscious effort to sort of spend time with yourself being lonely i think comes from a place of feeling feeling like emotional neglect or lack of relationships, romantic or platonic. I'm sure everyone has been around people once in their life and you felt lonely. You might be surrounded by your closest friends, but you still get that like pit in your stomach, you know? I can't remember if I said, but it's a question that I get asked all the time, like how do you cope being on your own? How do you live alone? Some people have been pushed into situations where they need to live alone and they feel really scared about it. I, even in my past personal life all the time people are like oh you live alone don't you and I will say it comes with its ups and downs for example this morning I woke up and I felt lonely I felt sad the house was quiet and I just lay in bed scrolling my phone like it sounds silly but like looking for a voice just searching for like a voice to like fill the silence but I know that I'm feeling lonely right now because of a circumstance like something I'm going through. Any other day that would not bother me. I'm using a new YSL palette as well, by the way. I've been seeing loads of girls do like really kind of bright lids and I want to try it out, see if it looks cool on me. What I will say is when you're on your own and you've got no external factors telling you what to do, you've got to do absolutely everything out of your best interest. You are the only one responsible for yourself and no one is going to step in and say, hey, look girl, you shouldn't be doing this, chill out on this. Or have you eaten your breakfast? Have you eaten dinner? Have you drank enough water? You've got to be very self-disciplined because there's no one around. And I also think you've got to be self-disciplined because you're living for yourself. And I think more often than not, we neglect ourselves. Say for example, like, you know your flatmate is coming home from work and you've got like loads of dirty washing on the side. You're gonna clean it up because your flatmate is coming home. When you live on your own, you don't. But you know, one thing like that, it snowballs and snowballs. And I'm not just talking washing up here. I'm talking about your actual lifestyle and like your lifestyle choices. You need to monitor yourself and you kind of need to be your own parent. I think Everyone universally can agree that feeling lonely is the worst thing in the world, but it's not to be confused with being alone is what I'm trying to say. Loneliness is an inevitable feeling that everyone will go through at some point in their life, but it's deeper rooted than just spending the afternoon on your own. So I mean, 
Take what you will from that. <laughs> and on a lighter note, things I do to enjoy my own company, it takes time. I think I think it takes time being alone to figure out what you actually really like. For me, it's long dog walks, going and getting ingredients to make some food that I've wanted to make, reading my book. Obviously I have Ida now as well, and that is a massive, massive factor. Like I never feel lonely, but I don't feel lonely because she filled a void in my heart. You know, I felt lonely because I had an empty hole in my heart. What else do I enjoy doing? This. I mean, I'm doing this with you now, aren't I? Being around people 24 seven is definitely easier, but if you're coming home and you're feeling lonely or feeling down, negative, just really apprehensive to be alone, think about why. I think we connotate feeling lonely to being with ourselves because there's no distraction anymore. We don't have a hundred like other voices around us pulling us away from what we actually might be truly feeling. And I think the only way to get through that exposure therapy spend some time on your own having said all of this as well i'm definitely getting better at like saying yes to plans and things like when josh messaged me yesterday and i just went out to meet him for the afternoon i don't know why but in the past it was always something that made me anxious i think i was like so comfortable being with myself in a way I felt like that was what i should be doing all the time and i just should be at home on my own all the time I don't know why. But of course I had the loveliest time. Like he's literally my best friend. I didn't even bat an eyelid. I just went straight out yesterday. It was something that would never have happened in the past. I feel like I've tried so many <laughs> different things out through my life, searching for these keys to happiness and keys to contentment and long-term as well. And I feel great. <laughs> I feel like a few things, right, one of them's especially being my feelings and like perceptions towards being alone versus loneliness. I can't look at myself without my eyelashes curled and this is not eyeliner stuff on. If any of you are watching this and you're in a position where you're gonna be moving alone, even if you're going into uni or like you're in uni halls right now and that thought terrifies you, think about what it actually is that terrifies you. Not to be morbid, but you come into this world on your own and you leave it on your own. And if that isn't enough to tell us that we need to be our own best friend and like our own biggest cheerleader, supporter, then I don't know what is. Be the person that you'd wanna be best friends with and love yourself and pay attention to yourself and give yourself grace and life will be beautiful for you, trust me. Anyway, I'm gonna finish off doing this and film my outfit videos and then <laughs> we'll make some food together. Right, whilst we've been sat on charge, I film my reel and <laughs> I'll change back into a big t-shirt and tights. I was actually obsessed with the outfit as well. Honestly, so many times like I film them and I'm like, what is that? So I just kind of wing it, like I go into my wardrobe and pull out whatever and hope it looks good. The clean up after these, it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> I always post them in real time as well. It doesn't feel exciting to me pre-filming things and then putting it out. I have been filming a little bit like a crazy lady though recently, so I feel like you're kind of a week and a half backlogged in a way. Getting everything put away, otherwise it all builds up if I leave this. My feet are honestly still recovering from that day in heels yesterday. And I wanted to wear them, like I wanted to wear them in the outfit. Oh. My feet were on fire, rubbing against raw blisters. Pop the coats back into my coat cupboard in my room. It's 2 p.m. The day is running away with me, honestly. I actually did loads of housework this morning, the second I woke up. Do you ever get that? Like sometimes when you get a sudden burst of motivation to do something. Cleaned all my surfaces in the kitchen. I've hoovered every room, hoovered the sofa as well. It's always a mission. So now I can go into the kitchen and trash it again to make breakfast. Also need to go and pick up that package from my neighbor apparently. That was what she was telling me outside my window. I guess what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Salmon on toast with eggs. It um, never fails. It just this. never fails. When I tell you I'm going to inhale this and I've got some editing to get on with. I've actually just got in from the nicest walk ever. It's so sunny. I didn't even need to wear this hoodie. As I said earlier, there were packages at my neighbor's house. So I've just gone to pick them up. Thought we could open them up together. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is a parcel from Glossier. Where did I put my phone? Oh. 
about here. I've been told about this in advance from my management because there's like a lot. Okay, the code is 106. So fun, so interactive. The lock is coming off if I can get it off. What could possibly be inside? <gasps> Oh, the new You fragrance. They actually sent me out their You fragrance recently and it was so not what I was expecting. Not to sound mean, but I was expecting just like a really basic fragrance, but it's like nothing else I've ever smelled. It's quite mature and I'd say a little bit sexy. The lasting power on it is amazing and I'm all about that in fragrance. You guys know, like putting it onto the universe, I'm desperate to have my own fragrance one day. Let's smell this one. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so lovely. It still smells like the, the original you. It smells purple. I, I don't know how to explain it. It smells purple. See if there's any information about them on here. So top note is buttercream, heart is plum butter, toasted almond, iris and sandalwood. And the base is ambro, ambrox and ambrette, ambretti. I don't know. Really lovely. Let's smell the other one. This one is Sweet Violet. Heart is Palo Santo, Frankincense, and Myrrh. Base is, once again, Ambro, Ambrette, Ambrette. Spray this one on the other hand. I actually don't have any perfume on today. Ooh, that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting, I feel like you expect this one to be like a little bit more light, but oh no. Oh, it's changing. They have a really kind of rich undertone scent that's really unique. I feel like I can't explain these. Any other fragrance I could explain, but you need to go into store wherever they sell these fragrances and you need to smell them for yourself. But I love, I love them both. This one smells like bacon. This one is gorgeous. I'm actually gonna spray this all over. Makeup is off, dressing gown is on over my clothes. I have been sat here for five hours, but I finished my video, which will be going up on Sunday, another weekly vlog. You guys know the routine by now, but I actually just made a recipe that I've been wanting to make. Kind of had it in my head and I wanted to film it for real, but I thought I need to try it first, make sure it's not rubbish. So we're gonna try it together. It's kind of like a feta tabbouleh without the flat leaf parsley though, because I have to save for the flat leaf parsley but if I wanted to film it. I'm just gonna try and imagine in my head what it would taste like with it. You want some? Mmm, that's good. It was so quick and easy as well. I wanted something that's really quick to make, like a rush dinner, lunch. I'd say that's more of a lunch, but it literally took five minutes and there's like hardly any ingredients. Good morning, girls. Another day, sunny day, another sunny day. I'm pulling my socks on as quick as I can because we need to be at Regent's Park to go for a walk with Uncle Josh. We're gonna walk through Regent's Park and then we're gonna go up through Primrose Hill. Maybe we'll get a bagel or something. How does that sound? We're gonna have a really lovely day. Barista Josh, he's ordered a double espresso shot. Do you want to put the espresso in first? Yeah, put the espresso in first. Knocking them out all the iron. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, maybe put the shake in first. Right, so he's got a protein shake and he's got a double espresso shot and a cup of ice. Thank you. Here's my one blonde roast oat latte. So he's making like a oh, oh, oh. protein coffee. Oh, I know you can't have any. That's good. So it's a chocolate. Double blonde roast espresso shot. Latte, I guess. Protein latte. Good, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <coughs> good. It's good. Mm, there you go. Maybe you gym girls can try that out. Gym girls. I'm boys. I'm boys. Whoa. So Graham and Dan. I bet that's like sweet nectar to her right now. I bet that's the best tasting water. Oh, are you done? Beautiful. Stopped off for a spot of lunch. Date night. Date day. Date day. I got a baguette. Oh. She hates when I film Josh. She gets so funny when I film. Like she barks at me. She goes crazy. I got a baguette. And it's got smoked salmon, cucumber, kale pesto. Sounds interesting. Thank you. No worries. Thank no, you so much. Enjoy. And Josh got scrambled eggs on toast. Yeah. This is a protein Minus boy. This stuff. One of Josh and mine's favourite activities to do is walk around the back of Primrose Hill, all the big houses. I was just about to say, doesn't this house here 
It reminds me of Gabriella's house in High School Musical because of the balcony. Oh. Thoroughly recommend this. If you're coming to London or you live in London, it's a great, almost like manifestation activity, I want to say. Well, I'm saying it's a manifestation activity because I wouldn't mind a house behind Hampstead Heath. I mean, these houses, to put it into perspective, we Googled it before, they're like 60 million pounds. Oh my God, they're just house. so unreal. And even like the cars parked outside. Well, this, we're in zone two of London right now. This isn't like the countryside. <laughs> Would you rather a house here though, or a house in Hampstead? If it was a house like this, I'd rather it here. I prefer the houses in Hampstead. Uh, Hampstead's too busy, like this isn't busy. But I prefer the look of the houses, they're old. These ones feel kind of modern. I mean, I wouldn't complain. Don't get me wrong, if someone were to come and offer one up as a Christmas present or something. Oh, it's even better when you see the family walking out of it because it feels like you're getting a scope of, of what's going on inside. Girls, we've had a day. We've literally walked a bloody marathon around Primrose Hill Regents Park everywhere, but nonetheless, the weather's been so lovely. It feels rude not to. We're back home now with a very sleepy little girl who I think she's just had the best day of her life. Her mummy and her uncle. Oh, look. You playing up? You being cute? Yes. This morning, I'm really annoyed at myself that I didn't vlog it, but I waxed my armpits. Uh, I applaud and salute any woman who has ever done that. I mean, I did it myself and I'm going to tell myself that doing it yourself is more painful than getting it done <laughs> professionally. It was one of the most <laughs> excruciating things I've ever been through in my life. And it's not like it's just instant pain and then it's fine. I've been walking around feeling like my armpits are bruised all day and I didn't even get all the hair off. How does it look? It does look dead smooth, you know. I feel like there's no... um. Oh, it hurts to even touch it. I feel like there's no gray. See this one, I couldn't bring myself to do this one. And I feel like this armpit, you hold that. <laughs> you hold it so I can compare. Right, which armpit, Josh, looks more gray? That one. That one, that's the one that I waxed. Yeah. Oh. It hurts. Oh, that actually still has a little bit of armpit hair on it. I couldn't get all the hair off the pit, okay? Um, it just wasn't coming off. Like, I was waxing the strip on and off, and it got to the point where it was bleeding, and I just thought, I'm surrendering, I'm surrendering to this, sorry. So I shaved the remaining hair off, and shaving it off even was so sore. Like, the skin was so delicate. There was one point in my life where I thought I'd be brave enough to get, like, a Hollywood wax. I think that is off the cards for the rest of my life now. You know in a Hollywood wax, they have to spread your cheeks to make you get on all fours, and they spread... Never be and they wax your labia, the inside of your mm -mm. your fufu. Inside. Oh. The inside of your fufu. Oh, energy like Can you imagine the pain of that? Imagine someone waxing your balls. No. <laughs> Not gonna lie. What'd you get me? What'd you get me? What'd you get me? Nothing. You, you don't, got me nothing. Because you don't like sushi. All the sushi. You, you don't like sushi. <laughs> Josh doesn't like sushi, so he's not partaking in there. These little scallop balls. Uh, there it is. my well. I am trying to fight the urge to go out, so I've taken my makeup off, put House of Sims on. Sorry, I feel like the lighting is really bad. Can I make that better? Yeah. Why are you makeup off? I took my makeup off. What was I doing? Just sat here. We're watching House of Sims and I've ordered sushi because I'd be spending this money on drinks while I was going out. Which I'll say to Josh, I haven't been out in a month. Woo! It's not even been like a conscious effort. I just haven't wanted to. I feel like I'm so used to London nightlife now, unless there's actually something exciting going on, I can't be bothered. Although, mark my last words. No, mark. Final yeah, words. Because what if I end up out tonight? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I've got some of these crab rolls. I never get crab rolls. I order from Sticks and Sushi. One is open up near me, which is just yeah. fantastic. So it comes really hot, you know? Mmm. There's so much sushi in here. Oh my gosh. How long does sushi last? Um, I don't think you should have sushi for too long. I think. I mean, I think it's best fresh. I don't know if I could. Yeah, maybe. A little bit of wasabi. Honestly, I enjoy sushi without soy sauce sometimes. I feel like I get all the delicate flavors of the fish. Have you seen them all the um, Magnum and... There are so many Magnum ads, that's true at the moment. We're watching I Kissed a Boy, but before anything, 
we need to try this. This is a green Fanta, right? Look at it. And I think it's one of those Fantas where like you don't know the flavor. Or if you can see it, just please don't tell me anyway, because I want it to be a surprise. And it does say it on there. Don't. I don't want to know. Obvious. I don't want to know. Right, we've got to try it together. Come here. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I keep hitting Ida. <laughs> I'm going to need that in, yeah. aren't I? I keep knocking her. Be careful. You've been warned. I feel like I can gas. Cheers. It's been warm. <laughs> Crazy I'm not really a huge apple girl. It's apple. It's apple, yeah. Do you like it? I feel like you'd like that. I do like apple drinks, yeah. It's, it tastes a bit like um. It's a little bit appetizer apple sour. Apple, sour. Yeah, it's like a non-alcoholic apple sour. But anyway, I've got these Magnum bonbons. They look amazing. Gold caramel millionaire ones, these ones. Ready? Ow! Oh, you've got to try one of these. Come on. <gasps> Oh my god. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Good, but. It hurts you too. Oh, yeah. You've got the news though. How is it about you? <laughs> You've got Cut that out. Um, and then we've got cocos and cream. It's really good, but biting into them is a bit. You do it. Finger. Oh, you might break it. Mmm. <laughs> mm, that one was good. Mmm. <laughs> the cookies and cream magnums are my favourite, so. Worth the hype. They're both super good. Oh my god. This is what Friday night is about. Go to them and ice cream. I think I'm a millionaire for girl and you're a cookies and cream boy. I agree. I like millionaire. I don't like salted caramel. Oh. That's not salted caramel. Billionaires explains why I'm into mm. it. <laughs> Cookies. That's why I'm into it. <laughs> Hi girlies, coming at you from the future. I don't want to get anything in the background because I've got some new bits for my home. Oh gosh, the lighting. Which you will see in next week's video. But I realised I never filmed an outro. So I'm coming in on here to say I hope you enjoyed this cozy week got another one coming on sunday i loved sharing it with you we loved sharing it with you didn't we i don't really think i have too much to say other than i love you i hope you have a lovely rest of your sunday and i hope this coming week brings you everything you want drink your water eat your greens take your makeup off and i'll see you next week and you can follow me on my other stuck my chin you can follow me on my other social media platforms for more cooking stuff outfits and stuff all sorts <laughs> shameless plugging i love you all so much i'll see you all very soon and subscribe as well if you like these videos